now this was related to the various rt markings that is rt1 2 3 and 4 rt1 and 2 are for full radiography only but rt2 was dedicated to 11a 5b so what is this 11a 5b that we are going to understand a bit detail so let's start with the understanding of the clause uw 11a 5b so let's say what is been written in uw 11a 5b let's read it we have already read one more time we are going to read it as per uw 11a 5b all the category b and c but joints which are getting connected to category a but weld should be at least satisfy the spot radiography requirement as a minimum to meet the requirements of spot radiography so all category b and c but weld which are connecting to category a but weld in shells or the heads of the vessel or connect seamless vessel shells or the heads as a minimum should satisfy the spot radiography requirement so 11a 5b says category b and c should satisfy the spot radiography even though it is coming under full radiography requirement this clause but for category a and d full radiography uh, till the full length is been considered only for the b and c category joints only spot radiography is recommended or it is been suggested because these are not very critical joint because uh, b and c joints are the circumferential joint and we have known that the circumferential joint is having lower stress as compared to the longitudinal and hence only spot radiography is been suggested so let's take one example let's say this is a pressure vessel uh, there are three joints in into it one is in the we can say the l seam for the uh, vessel or for that shell then there is a circumferential joint between the dish and two shell on the either side so if we are not taking the spot radiography of both these joints so what 11a 5b says 11a 5b says that the spot radiography should be taken for all b category joints here we can see that one category b is been spot radiographed the other is not been spot radiographed so let's see how it goes how it is been written in the code so how it is been written uw12 what is been written let's read it slowly uw 12a this is one more con uw 12 this is related to the joint efficiency so what is written in this clause related to joint efficiency a value of e that is joint efficiency not greater than given in a column a of table uw 12 column a column a means what you can see over here at the lower most side there is a column a where the joint efficiency is specified as 1 so a value of e not greater than that given in column a that is 1 shall be used in the design calculations for full radiograph uh, but joint as per uw a except that when the requirements of uw 11a 5 are not met a value of e not greater than the given in column b should be considered so what is written over here is if 11 a 5 b is satisfied then joint efficiency will be 1 in this case we can we can see that both these c seams that is category b are not spot radiograph one is done another is not so the joint efficiency cannot be 1 the joint efficiency will be 0.85 in this case here the joint efficiency can we get uh, the credit of full radiography of this we are not getting the credit of remember l seam is fully radiograph but the c seams or we can say category a is fully radiograph but category b on one side is spot radiograph another side there is no radiograph so can we take the credit of full radiography for the l seam the answer will be no no we cannot get the full credit for the spot radiography we will take joint efficiency of 0.85 for the shell even though we are doing 100% radiography for that shell but since the circumferential joints of the shell to descent or shell to descent junction is not radiograph or spot radiograph in that case we could not take 100% joint efficiency even for that cylinder so for that cylinder the uh, joint efficiency will be 0.85 if both side would have been spot radiograph then the joint efficiency would have been 1 so let's understand in much better manner by taking one example let's say 
here descent to shell junction is not having done any rt this is also not been done any rt and the l theme is 100% radiograph so as this l theme is 100% radiograph but on both the side what radiography requirement is not been satisfied so it is not satisfying the requirement of 11a5b and hence we cannot take joint efficiency e is equal to 1 for this l theme we have to reduce that joint efficiency to 0.85 are you getting so now take one more example here again my l theme is 100% radiograph and this on both side whatever c themes are there those are also or category b joints are there those are also spot radiograph so by doing spot radiography and having category a as 100% radiograph we are satisfying the requirement of 11a 5b and now we can consider the joint efficiency for the cylinder as e is equal to 1 again for the next example 100% length is fully radiograph and c theme is spot radiograph again it is satisfying the requirement of 11a 5b so here we can say the joint efficiency for the cylinder will be 1 again for the last it is 100% radiograph and the descent to shell junction is also at least a spot radiograph then also it is satisfying the requirement of 11a 5b and here also for the cylinder we can consider the joint efficiency as 1 if we compare the first and the last what is the difference the shell to descent junction is not radiographed on the left side so that's why we have to reduce the joint efficiency of cylinder from 1 to 0.85 even after doing 100% radiography for the cylinder so we can conclude that uh, as to have a joint efficiency of 1 of any category a joint so for category a joint to consider a joint efficiency as 1 so category b joints on either side should at least have the spot radiography done if on either side means both the side either side either side it should be from both the side it is it it is wrong it should be from the both the side uh, it should have at least spot radiograph then in that case joint efficiency can be taken as one if this condition is not getting satisfied then e should not be considered as one now consider the same example again here no radiography has been done here for l theme category a 100% radiography is done here no radiography is done now we are designing the distance so distance for all category a joints we are doing the full radiograph so what will be the joint efficiency for the distance now also even after doing full radiography for distance but since we haven't consider any spot radiography for shell to descent junction we cannot take joint efficiency of one neither for shell neither for distance for both even after doing 100% radiography for category a joints we have to consider the joint efficiency as 0.85 only so for shell joint efficiency for this case will be 0.85 and for descent also it will be 0.85 why so because shell to descent junction is not radiograph if it would have been at least spot radiograph in that case we would have taken joint efficiency of 1 for the distant on the right hand side but for the shell on the other side there is no radiography for both side if it is radiography spot then for shell we would have considered joint efficiency as 1 let's take for seamless now if you look at the clause that clause has changed from uw 11 a 5 b and uw 11 a earlier now it is uw 12 d uw 12 d so what is there in uw 12 d let's see this is related to the seamless now imagine my uh, vessel shell that is uh a uh, vessel shell is seamless means it's a seamless pipe let's say 106 grade b so there is no joint along the l theme again the distant are also standard end cap so there is also no joint so my uh, shell is seamless and distants are also seamless so what joint efficiency i should consider again we will read from the code seamless vessel sections or the head shall be considered equivalent to the welded part so these should be considered equivalent to welded part with category a weld joint type number 1 so we are saying that their 100% radiography is done for their category a joint this is the assumption for calculation involving circumferential stresses in seamless sections or for the thickness of seamless heads 
e should be taken as one the joint efficiency should be taken as one for the seamless shell and for seamless descent joint efficiency should be one but there is one requirement when it should be one when the spot radiography let's say here it is spot here it is spot and what is been written joint efficiency as one joint efficiency as one joint efficiency as one if we read it from the code e is equal to when e is equal to one when the spot radiography requirement of 11a 5b are met so thickness joint efficiency we can consider as one as we have seen that here all the joint efficiencies for the distant as well as shell when these are seamless we can consider one but the condition to that is the junctions between the shell and the descent at least needs to be spot radiograph at least spot radiography needs to be done then only we can consider the joint efficiency for these seamless sections as one if we are not doing the spot radiography for the descent on both the sides then what will happen let's say for left hand side descent it is again seamless my pipe is seamless right hand side descent is also seamless but on left hand shell to descent junction i am not doing a, a radiography on right hand shell to descent junction i am doing the radiography so where the uh, 11a5b is getting satisfied on the right hand side so for right hand descent i can consider joint efficiency as one for the shell on both side it has to be spot radiograph is it no so for shell joint efficiency will be 0.85 and for the left hand side descent even though it is seamless as i am not taking any radiography of the shell to descent junction so the radiography uh, the joint efficiency will be 0.85 so let's check e is equal to 0.85 when the spot radiography requirement of uw 11a5b are not met not met means what at least spot radiography should be done if you are not doing that means the 11a5b requirements are not met in that case the joint efficiency should be 0.85 so let's say for right hand side descent is seamless shell is seamless and the joint or we can say the junction between these two is spot radiograph so we can consider joint efficiency as one for shell on both sides spot radiography should be done but here it is done only on the one side so here we cannot take joint efficiency as one even though we are using seamless pipe that is very very important and on the left hand side again it is a standard end cap not having any joint but for the circumferential joint between shell and descent we are not doing any rt or uh, spot radiography so we cannot take it advantage and hence the joint efficiency will be uh, reduced from 1 to 0.85 so this is the end of the welding chapter the joint efficiencies types of welding categories of welding full radiography requirement spot radiography requirement clause of 11a 5b then rt1 rt2 rt3 rt4 marking i hope you have enjoyed this lecture thank you